Now this is the smartphone controlled R2D2 as you can see uh, he's about seven inches tall and he has a few features uh, he has a moving head he has motors in each of his legs here is a small switch to detect uh, the edge of tables and here is a bump sensor he also has uh, various lights that light up and his projector uh, just as you see R2 in the films so by default he will be in autonomous mode and for this he'll drive around using his bump sensor just navigating through the environment so let's turn him on as you see he's just bumping into things Okay, and to show you the, uh, the table fall off. Okay, so he detected the edge of the table and he's now reset into a static mode. Um, he, you can reset him again by using the power switch on the top to go back into autonomous mode or we can now take control using our iPhone. I'll just show you some of the lights here. So he's got these on his head this one and this one here slowly changes colour there we go right so to take control with our iPhone or Android phone we load up the app and there's our intro screen ok then we start and we have our main options, so we can drive R2 using the joystick or tilt control or access the activities. So let's start by driving him. Right. So this is the joystick. Forwards. Forwards. And also while he's in this mode he will detect uh, the edge of the table as well. Let's try that. There we go. Okay, so let's access some activities. So we have uh, four activities. We have R2 dancing, uh, the projector, uh, shock R2, and go back into autonomous mode. So let's, uh, let's give him a shock. Okay, and then the projector. This is my most desperate hour. Help me, Obi-Wan Kenobi. You're my only help. Okay, and now R2 dancing. Let's put him back there. Here's this one here. Okay, and that's uh, a basic overview of um, the iPhone controlled R2D2. Oh, I'll just put it back into autonomous mode. <laughs>